Hello cacao lovers and future cacao lovers. My name is Audrey Warren of Love Bean Cacao and I am here today to show you how to make a cup of ceremonial cacao. So the cacao that I use is of course Love Bean Cacao and this cacao comes from Guatemala. So Guatemala is the first place that I started to work with cacao, the first place that I experienced cacao in this way and this is where I formed such a strong beautiful connection with this medicine. So for me it's uh, important that my cacao generally speaking comes from Guatemala and that's why I work with Rukushuleo and Rukushuleo is an indigenous women's collective that mean part of the earth and they are based at Lake Atitlan in San Marcos La Laguna, which is where I was residing. So we directly source the cacao from them and bring it out to Australia to share. So to make a cup of cacao, we of course need our cacao. And I've already begun to chop up the paste here. And when we're making our cacao, we have two options. We can use a blender or we can prepare it directly in the cup. When we're using a blender, we can kind of roughly chop the cacao out of the hot water, important that it's not boiling water, but hot water, cacao and any of the other ingredients like maybe a sweetener or any spices that you want to add. And then the blender is going to do a lot of the work, the hard work for you and makes a nice smooth drink. But we can also put it in the cup. So I have chopped up some of the cacao here. So this is almost part of the ceremonial preparation as well as chopping up our cacao and then I'm going to put that into our cup. So the amount that I've got here is approximately probably about 25 to 28 grams and this is around about a half ceremonial dose and so when we are drinking our cacao at home maybe for meditation or perhaps to do a yoga practice or connect with a loved one that's a really nice amount so it's enough to get a connection and to feel the cacao when we're in ceremony particularly in a held space with a facilitator then they're going to serve generally around about 40 grams depending on the facilitator and in that way it's a deeper connection a deeper experience but you're also held in that space so popped the cacao in there. So the next thing we want to do is add our hot water. So when we're adding the water into our cup, we're gonna want a lot less than we actually think we might need. So right now, just using that spoon to dish some out. And the reason for this is that little amount is gonna help to nicely melt down the cacao. Otherwise, we might find that we get a bit of a chunky cacao. So it's important. This is the little trick. This is why people don't, people kind of reach out and say, how come my cacao doesn't work out? Then we can add some more water. This is also where if you were adding things like something to sweeten or any spices, so I recommend against using things like um, almond milk or coconut milk if you're really wanting to continue to connect with the energy of the cacao. It's beautifully if you want a nice chocolatey treat and I'm all for that. So then adding the rest of the water that we would like. So it's up to you how much water you want to put in. I like to put less because then we have a, a thicker cacao. When we aren't using the blender, it does mean even as we mix it in, it, we may still find that there's chunks and lumps of cacao. So it's nice to keep on mixing as we drink. And indeed, simple as that, that cacao is ready to drink. Enjoy.